In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate empirical probability. Probabilities of events are expressed as numbers ranging from 0 to 1 or 0% to 100%. The closer the probability of a given event is to 1, the more likely it is to occur. The closer the probability of a given event is to 0, the less likely it's to occur. To compute the empirical probability of an event E, denoted the probability of E, is shown right here. You take a look at the observed number of times E occurs over the total number of observed occurrences. The question that we're answering in this video is, the data in the table are based on 100,000 US women ages 40 to 50 who participated in a mammography screening. The first row is for the positive and for the second row we have the negative. In question A, we're asked, find the probability that a woman aged 40 to 50 has a positive mammogram. As you can see from the chart, we have 720 that were positive and had breast cancer and 6,944 that also were positive but no breast cancer. So we'll add these two numbers up and divide by 100,000. So we have 720 plus 6,944 all divided by the total number of observations, which is 100,000. Let's use our calculator to quickly find the answer. 720 plus 6,944 divided by 100,000 gives us 0 0.07664. 0 0.07664. Six six four, and if we want this as a percentage, we multiply this by one hundred percent. In question B, we're asked: Among women with breast cancer, find the probability of a positive mammogram. So to do this, we have to look at only women that have breast cancer, and that's this number added to this number. And they want the probability of just positive mammograms. So I'll take seven hundred and twenty divided by the sum of these two: seven hundred and twenty plus eighty. Let's use our calculator, 720 divided by bracket, 720 plus 80, and that is 9 out of every 10 women, or 90%. I'll write down 0 0.9. And this comes to show how important mammograms are for detecting breast cancer. Lastly, they want to know, among women with positive mammograms, find the probability of having breast cancer. This one is easy. We take 720 and divide by the sum of these two numbers. You should end up with a number of approximately 0 0.094. Now, of course, if you want these numbers to the correct number of significant figures, going back to question A, this one had 2, 4, and the 1 here doesn't count. So you should have stopped writing after this 6 and rounded up to 0 0.077. For this one, we have two significant figures here and two here, so we should also have two here. You should put a zero. And of course, for here, the number of significant figures was already taken into account. So 9, 4 is correct because this is 2, this is 2, and this is 4. And there you have it. That is how to calculate empirical probability.